Thank you. Well, early votes are now being cast in the race for Congress in the 20th District. Parts of Broward, as well as Palm Beach counties, Election Day is actually next Tuesday. And 11 Democrats are on the ballot. One high-profile candidate is Sheila McCormick, who's blitzing the airwaves with her ads. But her newest one appears to make a claim that isn't true. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, has a story now. He's in our newsroom. Michael? Christy, anybody who lives in South Florida has certainly seen one of her ads. They show a smiling Sheila Sterfilis McCormick promising a thousand bucks a month to almost everyone, plus Medicare for all other goodies. It's standard progressive stuff, but her latest ad seems to say that she already has been fighting for her agenda as a member of Congress. I'm Sheila Sterfilis McCormick, an experienced advocate, executive, mother, and wife. All true. Sherfilis McCormick is the CEO of Trinity Healthcare, a successful home health care company, and she has a law degree. I spent the last decade fighting in Congress to drive positive change in health care reform and job creation for people who need it the most. Whoa, did you hear what she just said? It bears repeating, quote, I have spent the last decade fighting in Congress as if she was a member of Congress. That's false. Sherfilis McCormick has run twice for Congress against Elsie Hastings and lost. She did get 30% of the vote in 2020. Her official campaign biography says she has worked since 1999 for Trinity Healthcare. Started by her parents, she's now CEO. Every time we even talked about healthcare in Congress when I was invited to go as a healthcare professional, it's always been about the budget, how much it costs. On This Week in South Florida, Sherfilis McCormick vaguely mentioned talking to Congress. Her PR consultant says she has testified there on healthcare issues. Sherfilis McCormick has spent $3.8 million on her campaign, $3.7 million a loan from herself. A candidate loaning money to his or her campaign is perfectly legal. We tried several times today to speak with Ms. Sherpilis McCormick. She never called us back. Michael Putney, Local 10 News.